Keith Morris, Circle Jerks. Um, who is the Messiah, Art Bell or Charles O'Reilly? Art Bell or Charles O'Reilly? Talk show host. Our I don't best. listen to the radio. Uh, <laughs> most of it's crap. Yeah. You might as well put Rush Limbaugh on there then, too.
were, were you? Uh, how were your feelings when you were uh, when, when you're like uh, like were interviewed and stuff for decline and stuff like that? Your feelings uh, that when it was being made. I mean, did you think that was like a sellout move at that time, or was it? You know, it was not, just a documentary. It was right. a friend of ours making a movie. Right. And all the bands were cool. All the people that were in it were cool. So how could it be a sellout? No, I mean, I, I would, it was no, no major. I'm not calling it a sellout thing at all. It wasn't was, MGM or right. You know, but so you, Fox or any of those people, Sony. Right. So how could it be a sellout? And if you look at all the people that were in there, all the bands that were in there, there was no way that it was a sellout. Right. I, I just use that as a, you know what I mean? Just a, I don't know if you had any bad feelings towards it or anything like Not that. Not in the least bit. Awesome. It actually helped us. Do you play any of the songs you wrote when you were kids, and do you feel the same way about them? I, I didn't write any songs when I was a kid. I didn't start playing music till I was 25. Alright. So I was way beyond being a kid. A -D -D. Although I was acting like a kid. What's up, brother? What's up, kid? Um, first job you've ever had. Sorry. Working for a uh, real estate company that sold. Their, their sales pitch was to all these different people around the country and what we would do is we would get these lists and we would have to call all these people right. to make sure that the number and the address and the name, everything was proper, right. everything was cool, and then we turned it over to the sales person. Awesome. How did you get turned on the first day you The first show that I ever went to was... with uh, Arthur Lee and the way that I got turned on to punk rock music was just by listening to stuff in record stores, reading magazines, just listening to music. There's, there was always like a definite reggae influence to some of the Circle Jerk songs. Was that, were, were you guys definitely reggae fans or? or? Uh, I am. What's your title? The other guys, who knows about them. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. What what uh what, what's your favorite uh? Reggae? It's all pretty much frontline stuff, like Bob Marley, Toots and the Maytals, Peter Tosh, stuff like Peter that. Peter Tosh, Junior Mervin, I Roy, U Roy, Scientist, Dr. Amontado. What's your favorite Circle Jerks record? I don't have a favorite Circle Jerks record. So I I don't listen to the Circle Jerks records. <laughs> I, I personally can't stand the Circle Jerks. <laughs> I think they're horrible. <laughs> now the Scorpions, on the other hand, oh, and Motley Crue. Um, is there ever a time that you were shitless? I've had a person try to stab me. I've had a uh, person fire off a couple of rounds at me. Dur at, during a show? No, not during uh -oh. the show. Or uh -oh. I mean during the show. Uh -oh. Um, those were probably the two scariest times. Um, did your parents make and you the Exorcist, the first time I saw The Exorcist. I just watched that tonight too, as a matter of fact. Did your parents make you go to church when you were little and did they, they were really for you? They made me go to church because my grandparents taught Sunday school and I never paid attention to whatever religion it was because I didn't care. What's your favorite Motorhead album? 